This video is about um, what makes a nucleus stable and what makes a nucleus unstable. Um, the thing you need to know is this, is that there are two forces acting in this nucleus, right? There's all these guys, all these protons are positively charged, right? Okay. And all the neutrons are don't have any charge at all, but, but, but there's definitely a coulombic force. The positives repelling the positives, right? Okay. These guys are going to repel each other. And that's what tends to, to tear the nucleus apart. Okay, the strong nuclear force is sort of like the ring of power, right? It's the thing that binds the nucleus. So the strong nuclear force holds it together, but the strong nuclear force is a very, very short range force. Okay, it works on distances on the order of 10 to the minus 15th meters. And beyond that, it, it doesn't work. Whereas a uh, uh, Coulombic force, we saw it, you know, in, it, it operates over kilometers of, of distance, right? We've done problems with these. We've, we've uh, had our Van de Graaff repel things that are meters away, right? So, so Coulombic force is very long range, right? So here's the deal. As you get bigger and bigger nuclei, that is, as you go up to things like uranium and thorium and stuff like that, right? The strong nuclear gets weaker, and that's because it's, it's uh, this side of the nucleus here, right? Okay can't reach this side with a strong nuclear force. It can only reach the nucleons that are near it, right? Okay. But the Coulombic force always gets stronger, gets stronger and stronger and stronger, right? And so something's going to happen. And this is, of course, why we don't have an infinite number of, um, of elements is because the strong nuclear force eventually craps out because it's, the nucleus is too big, right? So if you, if you do a... Um, if you look at a chart of this is neutron number, number of neutrons, this is proton number, okay? Uh, you know, for example, carbon-12 is 12 uh, neutrons, 12 protons, right? Um, I'm sorry, carbon-12 is 6 protons, 6 neutrons, right? Uh, if, you, if you look at those, those lower elements, it's always add a neutron, add a proton, add a neutron, add a proton. But when you get up to these large elements, right, you deviate off of that neutrons equals protons line. Uh, and that's because neutrons, of course, have strong nuclear force, right? Neutrons, um, these guys here are attracting each other, right? All these guys are attracted to each other. The neutrons attract the protons, the protons attract the protons, the neutrons attract the neutrons, right? All nucleons are bound by the strong nuclear force, right? So when you get, um, when you get up to these heavier elements, you can add neutrons, and you have to add more neutrons and protons because the, the strong nuclear force is starting to crap out on you, right? It's, the nucleus is getting too big. But the, um, the neutrons add strong nuclear force without adding coulombic repulsion, right? Okay, now when you get out here, all these guys here are, are radioactive, right? These are unstable isotopes. Everything at the end is unstable. Here's uranium out there, right? That's some of the biggest stuff there is, right? Those are, the, those are the last sort of stable isotopes there. When you get out there, you've got a crap load of, of uh, neutrons to just bind it together, and even then it's not enough. These things are unstable by, usually by alpha decay. They'll alpha decay down into one of these stable ones here. Um, the other thing to keep in mind, too, is that these large nuclei like this are very blousy, okay? Um, they're not, these guys are, are like little projectiles. You can use them to bust these guys apart. Um, these things are like uh, like an oil drop. If you picture a lava lamp, okay, they're very much like that. They 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 can undulate, they can oscillate. In fact, one of the problems with nuclear reactors is that fast neutrons will go right through a nucleus like this without even being absorbed by it. Okay, so so no, there we go. Right, so neutrons add strong force. With the heavier elements, you get more neutrons and protons, um, and then uh, I, I will tell you the story about the crazy guy at the University of Minnesota because. I, I can't tell that here, you know, I got to tell that when, when you're in class, okay? But that's the basic idea.